that's him. Right. <laughs> He's back uh -huh. from wherever he was. We'll question him about that later. Mm -hmm. And today we are joined by the lovely Florence Mwale. <laughs> Welcome to the program. Thank you. Florence is a journalist. She is joining us today because we are talking about current affairs. Now, if you have been watching the news, maybe, you know, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I, I hope you have, then you probably, or even if you haven't been watching the news, but if you've been on social media, then you probably know that Russia invaded Ukraine. Yes. And we have been observing uh, interactions on social media, particularly amongst our peers, um, pertaining to whether or not they do actually know why Russia has invaded Ukraine. And this triggered some thought mm -hmm. as to whether or not young people actually follow current mm -hmm. affairs. So do young people follow current affairs? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're young the people. Kind of You're young people. You follow yeah. current affairs. We do. I think because we're in the Janet, field, yeah. so we are forced to follow whatsoever is happening. We just forced to. <laughs> we just have to know what is happening around us, or else then you won't survive the newsroom if you yeah. don't. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Yeah. It's, it's, the job. Mm -hmm. it's the job. That's why we know about current affairs. But yeah. yeah. I think generally we really, young people really do not follow current affairs issues because I can't count how many times I have been asked by people my age or younger about something I'm talking about that I think is obvious, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. mentioning a particular minister's name and somebody will ask, who is that? And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Anywho, <Yeah>. moving on. <laughs> Uh, why do young people not follow current affairs issues? Why? I think to like to like give a straight answer. I think uh, most people would say that current affairs is boring. Mm -hmm. That's also what I had in oh, mind. That's what you're about to it's, say. Yeah, yeah it's because um, when you say young people don't follow current affairs, uh, we might say that, and it might be true, but they do follow the entertainment kind of current affairs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like ask them about what's happening between Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. They'll give you an answer. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> A straight answer. Mm -hmm. But Zindozinazi, they might not even know who Putin is or who. Uh, okay, Donald Trump, fine. But like they might not know like most of his uh, most of his big guys in the in the world. And even now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't actually know who the president of Ukraine is. Yes. Yes. Or even where Ukraine is. Or where? Yeah. Even yeah. Even on <laughs> like, the map. Even they don't. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> why should we say we have a boring job? Is that what we're saying? We're all in media here. Yeah. Not no. exactly. <laughs> no, no. Our job is it's really actually exciting. one of the exciting jobs hmm. in the world. Yeah. Then how come our products are boring? I think it's because of uh, mainly social media. The coming in of social ah. media and all that information that is comes up on your on your timeline on Facebook yeah. or or Twitter. There's so much that comes in, mm -hmm. but you only look at those interesting stuff because that's what you're interested in. Of course. But if we didn't have that. I think everybody else would be interested in knowing what is happening around them. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have social media, imagine if the, back in the day when we didn't have social media, we'd all listen to the radio, we'd yes. all watch the news on TV. Yeah. yeah. So I think social media has to be like, it's something we can blame it on. <laughs> I think so, because I'm thinking back uh, to a time when social media was there, yes, mm -hmm. but I... Uh, for instance, didn't have access to it. Mm -hmm. So you're 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 right. Yes, I I would listen to the radio. Yes, because and I you think you want to know what is happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that is not why I listen to the radio. Uh -huh. <laughs> why did you I listen, listen to the radio? Because music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Besides the music. No. So it happened that I'd listen to radios where they would play some music for like maybe thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and then at uh, half the hour, you know, they would put in a news bulletin. Mm -hmm. like, so, so I'd have to listen because yeah. I'm waiting for music at the end. <laughs> I ended up listening and following well, things, you music. know, mm -hmm. but yeah. it wasn't particularly by choice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I, I do kind but of get I think, it. I think social media is also, uh, mm. is also playing the same role, to be fair, because mm. uh, you might use it for the obvious reasons of like to just chill with your friends mm -hmm. or just oh, yeah, for yeah, jokes yeah. and stuff. But mm -hmm. then at the same time, Uzim Vagudi, Ukraine is trending. Yeah, not everybody goes on Facebook just to see what 
what's been posted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the late get an update on uh, what's happening uh, at Parliament. Yeah, exactly. And nobody like go that. does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People go there just to see. Oh, what did my friend post? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I heard she posted this. Let me go check yeah. it out. Let me go see that picture. Oh, let me also post something like a comment. Yeah. Of course. So, yeah. <laughs> but then yeah. while they're doing that, mm. as the one nobody like everybody's talking about Ukraine. Yeah. Mm. So as the one, okay, what's happening Interest. there? Interest. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe it's the same thing with uh, how you used to catch up with mm. what's going on on the yeah, radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it makes sense. So in a way, social media, idiabo. Mm. It's there and it's somehow disrupting our attention from the important stuff. Let's face it, current affairs is really important mm -hmm. yeah. because Ababa Meneziririmo, for instance, the way Russia has invaded Ukraine and uh, the sanctions that are now being imposed on Russia, mm. we will find what is in Tuzina might not might affect us. Not directly, mm -hmm. yes. Mm. But somehow, somewhere, so I guess that's what you got trickle down effect because yeah. that is a big thing. Yeah. So imagine if you did not know, yeah. what if this is what's happening. Yeah. What that was into, say, for English instance, English, guy, yeah. so global things like fuel, because you know how yeah. uh, Russia is like a big oil, was it oil or gas producer, yeah. you know, that, yeah. that sort of thing. So, social media, to be what is a distraction. Uh -huh. But the same way that I caught up with current affairs was on social media. No, it was on radio. Radio, because yeah. you wanted entertainment. Yes. <laughs> now, sitting there on social media, in the same way, do we Bangalore it should attract more young people yeah. to the news? Mm -hmm. Is there no way of doing that? Uh, there is. <laughs> there is. I mean, even like with the same example, yeah, Ukraine and Russia, mm -hmm. there were like a lot of people have been asking, even on social media, would he, could he, can somebody explain what's going on? Bueno, bueno. So, you know how like Montuina will bring in all these, uh, like the NATO thing, Jan Jani, like, ma, like just bringing in more complicated words. You find yeah. the specialists. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the there was this specialist. trend on, 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 what, on TikTok mm -hmm. where people were explaining what's going on by using like really entertaining ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like um, I think I was telling you earlier the other day, but it, I saw a video where there was like a, a guy representing USA, somebody else representing uh, Ukraine. Ukraine and Russia. Yeah. And then a fourth guy as a therapist. Oh. So the Russian guy goes to the therapist and then starts saying, Could I, this person, and then uh -huh. this year, <laughs> now he's trying to side with Ajin, and, mm -hmm. and then everybody's making, like, it was really funny. Yeah, but yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It's yeah. something that you can watch and you understand what's going on mm -hmm. between the countries. So, of course, it's a stretch, Komano. With things like that, I think we can meet the, like, we can, people can be informed in an entertaining way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I think Ababa just said we've agreed that uh, maybe the young people are not interested in current affairs and maybe mostly because it's boring. Mm -hmm. But what does it say about us, Pinabagi? Is it, are we only <laughs> attracted to things that will entertain us and yes, that's it? Most definitely. It just shows that we don't have an interest. Uh -huh. Just that, I don't know whether it's, we don't have the curiosity to mm. know what is happening, yeah. to know, just to have that knowledge uh -huh. of. What is happening not just in malawi but even outside malawi and mm. even young people they don't have that curiosity i'm i'm not sure why i had it <laughs> maybe i yeah, think yeah. i did yeah. maybe because i didn't have access to social media back then mm -hmm. but then i wanted to know what was happening around me yeah. back in the day i would listen to the radio or maybe re read a newspaper nowadays you wouldn't find a young person reading a newspaper yeah. that is something that never happens mm. if there is a newspaper in the house it's probably for the father or the mother yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> who's going to be reading it but the young yeah. person no they'll be spending time on social media so they don't have that interest just to know what is happening it's a huge problem and even on tv mm. you find that my channels i mean my color switched on to it's either football Telemundo, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sea World, uh, mm -hmm. ETV, <laughs> yeah. MTV, you know? You won't find a young person watching Al Jazeera, BBC. BBC. the BBC. BBC. Yeah. Be like, Hi, <laughs> I don't have time for that. <laughs> it's boring yeah. i have i have siblings who actually question me like okay fine now that i have a, you know mm -hmm. i'm a journalist yeah. so obviously i do that it's it's no longer just about my work anymore you know mm -hmm. it's it's it's, 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 to be it's a habit like i picked yeah. up mm. i want to know what's happening mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. it was an issue of 
all entertainment in the meantime and then go back to entertainment but now it's a need in me i need to know that Mm. Like, what's happening as yeah. it is now like russia where is everything mm. Mm. Yeah. how many more sanctions have been imposed mm. on, on russia yeah. and uh are people fine in ukraine what's happening to africans who are living in ukraine that sort of thing Ed. Mm -hmm. but you you find that Hi, my name is I've turned on the radio and I'm listening to the BBC. I get comments like, Hey, come on, you where? Come on, you where? Come on, you That's what they say. Come on, you where? Come on, you where? Come on, you where? Come So, <laughs> why? <laughs> why is it that young people don't have that sense? Because these are things that could be good to them, you know, that'd be important to know. And even at some point in their lives, perhaps they even go to school, mm -hmm. and even their future jobs, even if it's not directly in media. Mm -hmm. But if they knew certain things about it would be helpful for them. But why is it that young people don't see that need, Sovano? We're too busy um, listening to music. <laughs> Gossiping on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. We're too busy with things that since I've been real that's so That's the thing. Mm -hmm. We're too busy with that and maybe it's because of uh, the backgrounds, our backgrounds mm -hmm. may also be to blame. Um like my grandfather up to now he still listens to radio like twenty four hours a day. And what? I think I took that from him. Wow. Yeah. Like I would see him like uh, listen to the radio in the morning, even at night. Like his radio never goes off. Uh -huh. well, if yeah. it goes off, then maybe Nodi better and yeah. he needs to get a new one and replace it. Yeah, yeah. So I took that from him, and I was like, like okay, wait. why is he so interested in this? Then there must be something good in that. Same radio so, station or switching and the same radio station. Is it the BBC mm. or? I think Radio One as well. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. all that he listens to. Yeah. Mm. So. That's how he did it um, throughout the years and up to now he still does that. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, so if he's doing that, then maybe there must be something interesting there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me also try that. So that's how I, I grew this habit of also wanting to listen to the radio, so wanting to know what is happening around me. Nowadays, everyone's on their phones, on yeah. social media. So if your parent isn't showing you that, this can also be interesting. Yeah. And our parents are people we look up to, mm -hmm. whether it's our parents or our guardians. These are people we look up to. So if they have a certain habit, that's what we also learn to do mm -hmm. as uh, young people. Mm -hmm. So if they are busy on their phones all day long, that's what we're also going to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. So if they don't have the interest, nobody else in the house is going to have that interest as well. It's like they you're building a culture. In Onsen, you can break that chain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as older people, like my guardians, parents, they need to develop a culture among Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if it's reading the newspaper, that reading culture won't start from the child mm -hmm. at all. It will start from you as adults. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once they see you doing that, they also want to uh, replicate what you're doing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's so. <laughs> the <Yeah>. problem <laughs> stems from those we're around throwing, us. Yeah. We're throwing a lot of darts at social media, and I know I social media is like your, your baby. <laughs> Yeah. What do you have to say to back up your baby? <laughs> Social media. Is it so well, bad? It's it's not that bad. Okay. And if anything, social media is trying to like um, it's trying to help people. Could he, they should at least be well informed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like um, the other day, I was also telling you. I think I said it on PHL as well. Could he, Twitter, its its intended purpose is news. Uh -huh. Like when you search for it on app on what uh, on your app store and stuff yes in my car category and news um. so it's like there to inform people yes and they know what it's uh, through like media houses and uh, through just random people just posting about things i mean these days and kind of them as well through such platforms mm -hmm. yes and the fact that like let's say for example with times tv every 8 p.m and 7 p.m to make a news each other social by facebook live by and by facebook live like following the the audience following the what this arrogant, <laughs> arrogant <laughs> generation. Okay, we're coming there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So social media is is trying. It's mm. like 
it's it's a bit of I mean it's just the same way with TV and radio. I mean somebody can use the radio just for music mm. while somebody will be focused on. I remember back then when I used to listen to the radio in Gambo Wonder One O One because One O One was like the <laughs> the youth thing. Yeah, it was then, like yeah. radio station Yamayo mm. pretty much. Yeah, mm. those One O One Kabiro FM and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But then with MBC sitting Kabiro at that time because mm-hmm. of things like that. So it's like now with uh, with more and more platforms coming in, I feel like. Social media is trying its it's it's doing its part. Mm-hmm. We can't throw it to the wolves like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've yeah. uh, done a good job. I think social media would be happy if they heard this. Mm-hmm. But yeah. uh, now looking at the use of social media, but when they all come Gary, for mm-hmm. instance, Twitter is meant in in fact to inform people. Yeah. But now, many not even agree to that on Chiro or Ufeno. Is yeah. this what's destroying the whole status quo? <laughs> the one that's like, you know, it's big. Why we're throwing, you know, knives at it? Yeah. Are we doing it justice in terms of usage again or Ufeno as people? No, we aren't. Because at the same time, that's that's where we're getting like uh, the most fake news and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I was having this conversation with a friend of mine the other day. Woody, she was telling me Woody, she doesn't watch Times TV. She only watches it because we're friends. <laughs> You know, and if I'm not there, then I in touch. Uh-huh. So, I'm like, ah. <laughs> so I'm like, what about the news? Mm. She's like, I catch up by social media. What about the other programs? Exactly. We're going to have Gary on every program on the news. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> so she can watch. <laughs> yeah. And then when I asked about I was like, ah, oh my, like, at least with uh, Times TV or any other TV, like, you know what it's uh, like, they're going to confront the news on mm. our social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you don't even care whether it's fake news or not. She's like, you think people care these days? People don't. People don't care. Mm. Yeah, so that's the other. I, I feel like the biggest problem right now is mm-hmm. good social media, uh, as much as it's trying to keep people informed, mm-hmm. it's like, but it's fake news, Yambi. So mm. it's being abused in a yeah, way. Yeah, it's being abused. So <laughs> yeah. we're not using it the right way. Mm. Oh wow, I'm yeah. really <laughs> a little horrified <laughs> by your friend. Because she's not the only one, sadly. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people, in fact, this are not just young people. Mm-hmm. And would even Aguru, they'll tell you, I don't even watch any TV in Malawi. Malawi. Like, exactly. Why? So you're living in Malawi, you don't watch any TV in Malawi. Malawi. Where do you get your news? I've gotten yeah. that same response. I like social, social media. Social media. Mm-hmm. Whether but it's fake or not, they don't care. They don't care. Nobody cares. Yeah. In fact, people 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 believe everything they read on yes. social media. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's because we're in the media and we can easily we know how to know that this is fake, yeah. even if it's a picture, <laughs> just by looking at it. You yeah. can tell but that this is a doctor. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But then there are all these people who actually believe everything that they find on Facebook and that's like, that's the sad part. The number of times <laughs> I have had people forwarding to me breaking news. <laughs> Fake breaking, breaking news. news hey. oh. <laughs> it's horrifying and it's disturbing. Mm. Yeah. Would you go Even for social media, but maybe more getting us into there are platforms. We have Times 360. Yeah. Which you can follow. Well, you can follow them. Yeah. All these radio stations, I mean, any, 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 any of the authentic ones, have actual handles on mm-hmm. social media. And yet mm-hmm. you go get mm-hmm. your news from Kaya Budigo. Malawibreakingnews.com. Something like that. That's what I <laughs> How on earth? Yeah. So, how can we change this? Wow. <laughs> there is a lot of work to do. <laughs> You're the people in the media. Even like just start starting to yeah. convince people that mm. don't follow that, follow this. Yeah. Mm. They'll be like, no. Yeah. This one is he this this guy, he's like Tell he's me. the inside man. Yeah. Mm. He works at State House. He knows mm. everything that's mm. happening there. Mm. I can't follow that one. Let me mm. follow this one. So there's a lot of work to do and um People even, I've heard of groups where people actually pay just to get breaking news. What? On WhatsApp. And people are making money out of this. How? Explain. (laughs) Just for you to to be a member, (laughs) you have to like pay, I think it's a monthly fee of, first time I checked it was 500. And I was booted out because I didn't pay. (laughs) 